Hi, I'm Todd Brooks. I'm the Traffic Engineering Manager in Dewberry's Raleigh, North Carolina office, and I'm here to talk to you today about traffic signals, specifically the three basic components of a traffic signal. First being the traffic signal head, the set traffic signal controller, and the detector. The signal head is basically a glorified light fixture, not much to it. It's basically remained unchanged since the 20s, has wires running to individual lights. You can see here, this is an incandescent, an older version. Today we use LED modules that save us power and uh, last a lot longer than the incandescent bulb, but it basically just gets switched on and off by the controller in a predefined pattern based on what the controller tells it to do. The other component is the detectors for pedestrians and for vehicles. For pedestrians, you're familiar with the push button that you push to get the walk signal at the intersection mounted on the corner on a post or a pole. Uh, for vehicles, there are detectors embedded in the pavement or some are mounted overhead. The ones in the pavement are formed by loops of wire that uh, ch detect change of inductance as the vehicles roll over the top or come to rest above a loop. Uh, if they're out of the pavement, it may be technology such as video or infrared or even radar, and they emulate the same thing that the loops do, a, a zone of detection just like the loops do, but do it from overhead. And they send input to the controller, which is really the brains of the uh, traffic signal. The controller resides inside a cabinet, as you've probably seen at the corner of the intersection. And it's not too old, altogether different than a uh, computer or desktop computer you have at your home or office. And uh, it, we load it with software, we program it uniquely for each intersection, and it operates the signal in response to the input from the detectors and tells this traffic signal when to turn red, yellow, and green.